in today's video, I will be showing you how to remove shortcuts from your start menu. But before we get started, have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? If not, hit that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed it. The first thing we need to do is open up File Explorer. Once you have File Explorer open, you now need to open up the C drive and you now need to find the program data folder. If you cannot see this folder, then that's because the folder is hidden. To find the folder when it's hidden, all you need to do is click on view at the top and you then need to click on the little checkbox next to hidden items. As you can see, I just deselected it and it's now hidden a lot of the folders. But if I go back on view and then select that checkbox again, I can now see all the folders. I'm now going to go ahead and open up the program data folder. Once you're in this folder, you now need to find the Microsoft folder. And you then need to open up the Windows folder. We now need to open the start menu folder and you now need to open up programs. And you will now see a list of all the programs that have shortcuts on your start menu. This is for all users, this start menu. I will show you where your personal start menu shortcuts are in the second. But for example, if I scroll down, as you can see, I have Acrobat Reader shortcut here. If I open up my start menu, you can see it's on my start menu. If I now right click and delete this shortcut, and if I now open up my start menu again, it has now gone. If I go control and Z to undo that delete, and let's just refresh and scroll back down, there we go, it's back in the folder. If I now open up my start menu again, the shortcut is now back. So that's how you remove a shortcut from your start menu but that will remove that shortcut from all users. If you want to remove a personal shortcut, then all you need to do is open up the start menu again, and you now need to type in run and press enter. You now need to type in the percentage sign and app data, and then the percentage sign again and press okay. We now need to find Microsoft and you then need to open up Windows and you now need to open the Start Menu folder. You now need to go into Programs and here are all the shortcuts for the Start Menu for my personal Start Menu. If I open up the other folder quickly, as you can see on my personal one, I have TeamSpeak shortcut. If I open up the other folder, TeamSpeak is not on the All Users. And that's because I only have that shortcut, the TeamSpeak shortcut, on my personal start menu on this user account that I'm currently on. Which means I could go ahead and delete that shortcut if I want, and then it will no longer be on my start menu. And that is how easy it is to remove shortcuts from your start menu. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe. For more computer sluggish tutorials.